Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy. And I'm here today to teach y'all how to punish these characters in this game. Such as Aki, Botan, Aki and Botan, and even Ayame. I heard a few of y'all are out there struggling. No worry, I'm here to help. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, that bell notification, so you can stay posted for when I post. Without further ado, let's hop into this training mode, man. All right, y'all, now that we are in training mode, we are gonna try to figure out how to punish this character. Starting off with Aki. All right, the first lesson is, you gotta realize what button and what range is your best punish. So we already know, close range is gonna be one. One, two, one, two heavy. Those are some of your best moves. That's your best move to punish with. But you gotta know your ranges, right? A lot of these moves in this game will put people at a certain range when it's staggering or they're just out of range for your one. Your one isn't really gonna hit unless you're super close. And this is kinda hard to hit. Your down one, my down one, I use Corona and her down one is just not gonna hit 89% of the time. That's a random number, but it feels like 90% of the time her button is not going to hit. So my, my main punish, I use two. It just it just connects. Let's say Aki does something like this. It's a common string. And y'all be scared to press a button, but little do you know, it's punishable. So when she throws out this or anything like that every time she teleports every time that she does this move right here it is always punishable let me show you how you see that you know why it's punishable now if you get hit by the dude you get hit by the dude obviously don't press a button you're going to get punished but if you block him It's a full punish on her. You'll also see Aki's do a string like this, just to try to throw you off. Y'all be letting these Aki's get away with murder on these teleports. The teleports aren't real. For example, I can punish her every time. It's a punish every single time. Even with my two, because that dude has no hit stun. It's just there. But if you let him hit you first. And then punish. Let the clone, let the big buff dude hit you first. And then punish him. I said, y'all, the teleport not real. Even her, even this teleport isn't real. So what I'm saying is y'all, no matter what teleport she does with the dude coming out or whatnot, you can still punish her. Onto a little bit more difficult, difficult character to punish and moves you gotta watch out for. You gotta be more patient with her. On to the next character. All right y'all, so the number one thing I see Botan's doing is always this. It's always this. So time Botan's sit here and do this right here. Let's say just off a regular throw. Into a full combo, right? And it's annoying, it's quick, it's tough. But little do we know is we have a great anti-air for this move. You just gotta time it. You just gotta time it. It's not free. And most characters do have a good anti-air light. Corona. Corona thinks she has the best one in the game. Um, but I don't wake up, I know they're gonna jump. It's about timing, though. You gotta time it. Otherwise, you're gonna get blown up. You know, then you get a full combo punish. Off of ground one more time. See, I got caught right there. You gotta do time it. You gotta time it. Uh now it don't hit me. So that's one way to punish her running and jumping and doing her down heavy you know it's very difficult and she get a lot of damage off of it but if you do mess up you will get blown up 
but I think the re risk is great is just a reward. You know what I'm saying? High risk, high reward. Now another string I see a lot of botons do that you didn't know that you can go through, you can go through her grenades. With Corona, you can go through her grenades. Now you can lab it and see if your characters can do it. Most of the time, this is what I do when they try to throw out grenades versus me off their stagger pressure. Now you see that right there, most of the time off of block pressure, they'll do that. Now let's see how, how we can punish that move. Did y'all just see that? Full combo punish, man. Way to punish it. She got one more thing that I see a lot of people struggle with. And we got to blow her up for doing. Now everybody knows she has this jumping move where she either air grab you or do a jump, a jump move and it will hit you and you'll get full comboed if you get hit by it, right? So this is what you do in that situation. It's just as a jump. It's in my, it takes priority. My down heavy takes priority. It's a great anti-air and it knocks her out of the air. So these are, that's a few things that you can really punish. It even works on her air command grab. So that's something else you can learn to punish Botan with. I know these characters are very powerful. I don't like seeing y'all struggle. Don't want to see them dominating tournaments. You know what I'm saying? It's all about reads. All about reads. All about reads. And the last character we're going to go over, these are the three, some of the most powerful characters in the game. Last thing we're going to go over is Ayame. She's really good. But she's also very, very negative. That's negative. That's negative. The heavy's negative. That is super negative. Super negative. Only thing that she has going for her is her ghost, right? It's her ghost. So if you ever see any Ayame doing this, this stream where they lean back and stagger it, this is so punishable. We gotta learn to blow the character up when they do that. Normally, Ayame would do something like this. Full blown, full combo punish, right there. Let me do it again. Full combo punish. And make them, and just punish them. Full combo punish the characters. Really, everything Ayame does is so negative. She's not as powerful as everybody thinks she is. Just watch out for staggers. Watch out for grabs. And whenever you can get that punish on her, get that punish. Please. But if y'all did like the video, these are some of the most powerful characters in the game. Botan is, like Aki is. Botan, I believe, is the best character in the game, but... Just punish them. If y'all do like the video, do hit that like button, subscribe button. Please leave a comment down below if you want me to go over anything else. Anything else y'all struggling with. I'll help y'all out. Without further ado, we out.